Almost every Sunday growing up, we had collard greens. I mean, it was a family tradition of ours. We would cook collard greens all day, and they would pay off in such a big way. These days, I just don't have time to cook collard greens all day. So I'm gonna show you a quicker way, a much healthier way to enjoy collard greens, along with the creamiest pot of grits you've ever had. And of course, everything we do. You know it's gotta be simple, easy, delicious, and just good food, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I am going to fill up my sink with some warm water. This is because we have to wash and clean the greens, all right? Speaking of greens, I've got a big old bunch of collard greens right here, and I'm gonna show you how I like to do this. So what I do is I get my cutting board, and I put it right here. I grab a knife, and I like to roll the greens up as much as I can, and I'm just gonna get in here and give them a slice and slice them down. All right, and when I get to the end, I'll take the stems, right, and I'll just throw the stems away. Now, you can pick the greens off the stems if you want to. I'm not going to do that, all right? So now that I've got my greens all cut, I'm just gonna dump them into the water just like this. And I'm gonna get in here and slosh these all around just to make sure these are super clean. I'm just gonna put them into a colander just to drain off any of the excess water. And over on the stove, I have a pot of uh, boiling water. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop these greens off in that pot of boiling water with the stems and let them cook until they're super tender. All right, now while the greens are cooking up, these are just gonna cook for 45 minutes, an hour, and get nice and tender. Here's what I wanna do, all right? So I'm gonna end up making some grits. So I'm gonna get this skillet on, and I'm gonna pour in some vegetable stock because we're gonna cook the grits in this, uh, this lovely vegetable stock. All right, so once the vegetable stock comes to a boil, it's a good time to add in our grits. So. We're gonna add in the grits a bit at a time and then just stir to make sure they don't stick. All right, so I'm just gonna put the heat on low, let the grits come together. While that's working out, here's what I'm gonna do. I've got some onion and uh, some tomato. These are classic combinations whenever you're talking about collard greens. So I'm just gonna throw together a bit of a relish so that I can put it right on top of the collard greens, all right? So I've got a tomato that I'm just gonna slice. And I'm just gonna cut open a little onion. Put it right into a bowl. I just wanna season it really simply, right? So I've got a little bit of salt I'm gonna put right in here. A little bit of pepper to help bring out a little bit of sweetness in the tomato. I've got a little bit of sugar, and then here's what's really gonna help it is I've got some uh, white balsamic vinegar. Just a couple of dashes of douya right in there with a little bit of olive oil, and then this whole thing is complete. This is what's gonna go right on top of our collard greens and our grits. Look at this. Give this a stir. The longer this sits, the better this relish is gonna taste. This is fantastic, right? All right, so look at this. The grits are super thick, and they're basically begging for moisture, right? Start by adding in some vegan butter. Grits, butter, it just goes together, all right? So a nice big spoonful, so that butter gets in there and helps out with the moisture. All right, and then I've got some vegan half and half. I'm gonna pour this in as well. See what starts to happen? It really absorbs into those grits. And this is how you end up with those really creamy grits. This is looking good. A Little bit of salt, and my mouth is like watering, okay? <laughs> a little bit of salt uh, into the grits, not too much. A little bit of uh, black pepper is gonna go in here just like this. All right, and then we'll give it a stir. Look at that, look how creamy those look. That's what I'm talking about when it comes to creamy grits. This is gonna be a great vessel to hold our greens. All right, speaking of greens, our greens are also ready to go. So these have been cooking now 
for 45 minutes an hour until they're nice and tender, okay? Right now, they're just greens boiling in water until now, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by adding in some liquid smoke, a couple teaspoons of that. I've got some Cajun seasoning that's gonna go right in there. Along with that, let's add in some onion powder. Let's add in some red pepper flakes to make it nice and spicy. All right, let's do a little bit of garlic. All right, now we gotta balance out uh, the bitterness from the greens, the spicy. We do that by adding in some sugar. All right, it won't taste sweet, but it'll give it a real nice balanced finish. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we'll finish off with some olive oil. So there's the pepper. All right, a little bit of salt to help bring out those flavors. And then lastly, here's that olive oil. All right, mm -mm. I wish you could smell this. This smells so good. Not only does it smell good, I mean, it looks good as well. Look at this. These are amazing. They're super tender, well seasoned, and I know they're gonna be really, really good. All right, so there's only one thing left to do now, and that's to fix a plate. All right, so now there's only one thing left to do, and that's fix me a plate, because I'm ready to eat, or bowl in this case. All right, so I've got a bowl. What I wanna do is I'm gonna put the creamy grits on the bottom of the bowl, like this because they're gonna be the vehicle that's gonna hold the greens in place, all right? Now, speaking of greens, let's just top the grits with some of these delicious collard greens. We need this little tomato and onion relish situation to just bring the whole thing home. So I've got this here. I'm just gonna top it with some of the tomato and the onion. And I think this could use one more swig of olive oil right on top, just like this, just like to finish it off, you know? All right, so I'm gonna go in for a taste. So I'm gonna grab some greens, some grits. I wanna grab like a complete bite and see what we're working with. This is hot. As you can see, it's still, still smoking, all right? The creaminess of the grits are already amazing, but the grits just, just help to add what these greens need. The creaming, the savory grits, this lovely vinegary based relish on top. Yo, this is amazing. All right, listen, I mean, you gotta try this. I mean, you really gotta try this recipe. And think, it's vegan, huh? Mm. That little vinegar hits you right here. Recipes like this, you know where they're gonna be. On my website, it's www.dariuspitz.com. Two things I wanna tell you, as I always do, food is my life, life, it's my food. Until next time, I wanna wish you happy cooking from my heart to yours. Mm, mm, mm. Bye, y'all.